Hi, this video today I will guide you how to get started with C# -Sap and Visual Studio Code. Okay, so this is Visual Studio. We have installed it in the previous video, and today I will guide you how to start to work with the C# -Sap or by using this tool. Okay, firstly you have to install the C# -Sap extension in this tool, and the second time you have to install the .NET Core SDK. Okay, let's get started now. I will open here this tool on the left hand we have a extension okay you tie in c sub okay okay so we have a lot of c sub extension here let me find the, the best one yes for microsoft install it Yeah, it has been installed successfully on this PC. Oh no, no, downloading. Here. So here, when if you see the finished message, that means you have not installed the successfully extension C# for for this tune. Okay. Cool. So now open the browser and install the .NET Core. I tie in the .NET Core. Here. Click on the first link. Okay, so go down here, and I'm using the window, so I select the .NET Core for window. Download in the add day key here. Okay, finish. Click on the .NET here. Run. Install. Okay. Installation works fully. Close this one. Okay, and now back to the the tune. Okay, so now I will close this one and try to open it again to refresh. Okay. So now here, I will select the explorer. Click, click on open folder here. So now I will create a new folder. I name is uh, VS Code or something like that. Select this folder. Okay. Okay. So this one will be the work working space for the new project we are going to creating. Okay. So now here I'm going to to um, create a new .NET or uh, a console application by using the Visual Studio code. Okay. So here you can see if you click on file and new, it will only create new file for you. Yeah. So it will look different with uh, with the Visual, St Visual Studio. And here we have to using the uh, the combination the combination of the the, the terminal and also the the, the the editor here. Okay. Okay, so here you go to the view, integrated terminal. Yes, here, and now you have to tie in some the uh, the the the, the text here. Donate. Donate. New. Control. Enter. Yeah. So this command will create a new new file in the program.cs file here. You can see in the lab browser. Okay. Click on this one. Yeah. So here 
in this file we have some the the the, the code base. Okay, it says the hello one. Okay. We require asset to view and debug are missing from the visual code as them. Yes. Yeah. So here it will auto because for now we are using the the the, uh, the donate core add a key version two. So it, when we create new project here, it will automatically restore the necessary uh, asset for our project. And um, back to previous step, if you are in so the uh, .NET Core version one, so you have using the the the, the, the command to 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 store the uh, to restore the necessary asset for to run the project. You have type in e .NET. E, oh, sorry. Into the the net and restore. Okay, for the, and execute this command. But here. We are using the .NET Core version two. No need to tie in anything here. Okay. Okay. Now, so now we we have now we are going to run the the, the this this application. We tie in e.NET and run. Enter. Yeah. So you can see here it is displaying the hello one message. Okay. So now I will try to edit the content in the console right line here and let's try. Let's save it. Okay. And run it again. Yeah. So here you can see the new message has been printed out to the terminate terminate manager window. Hello one from Tianfu. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Okay. So I think that's all for today. And after you finish this video, you know how to to, to use your Visual Studio code to work with the uh, CSAP uh, console application. Okay. I hope this video will be helpful for you. And let me know if you see any issue. Bye bye and see you later.